If the neocortex of the human brain is as plastic, as changeable, as scientists now believe that it is, then what we have is a, an evolving brain, a brain that changes with experience, not the entire brain, um, but that very large part of the human brain that is um, more developed than it is in other mammals. Uh, that seems to be extremely plastic. In fact, one neuroscientist, Jak Panksup, went so far as to call the neocortex a blank slate. Uh, so that would mean that the brain changes in history. And there's a very interesting way to think about it, which is that uh, culture becomes matter. Uh, culture has a material reality in the human brain, and it is not fixed, but dynamic and changing. It is not fixed, but dynamic and changing um, in every individual human being, but also at particular moments in history. So I suppose one could say that because there are less plastic areas of the brain, uh, areas of the brain that seem to, that resemble uh, rats uh, and other mammals, uh, that those aspects of the brain are much more intractable. Uh, there are aspects of our experience that are not blank slate, uh, but the brain, as far as I understand it, and the current science seems to suggest that yes, the brain changes in history, and it is not, um, it does not have the architecture that evolutionary psychologists believe it does, which is that we evolved it became rather static, and we don't have to worry about what happens uh, day to day or from one historical period to the next. I think that's a serious flaw in the thinking of evolutionary psychologists.